Okay, so this is a short video on how to do titration calculations uh, suitable for IGCSE chemists. Um, when doing these calculations, the first thing you need to be thinking about is that you're actually doing calculations using solutions. Uh, so really, the question you should be asking yourself to start with is actually, what is a solution? So a solution is formed when a solute dissolves in a solvent. Now the solute is usually a solid. So something like sodium chloride, a nice white powder, uh, an ionic solid dissolves very willingly in water. You stir it up, it dissolves. You can't see it, uh, it forms a solution. Uh, so the sodium chloride would be the solute and the solvent, in this case, would be the water. Now the term concentration is used to describe how much of the solute is actually dissolved in the solvent. And concentration can be measured in two ways. It could be measured in moles per decimeter cubed, or it could be measured in grams per decimeter cubed. And you may be unfamiliar with this term decimeter cubed. You hopefully should be happy with mole and you definitely should be familiar with grams. Uh, decimeter cubed is what chemists would refer to uh, the unit of litres. So decimeter, a decimeter cubed is exactly the same as a litre. So really moles per decimeter cubed is moles per litre. Um, and quite often when we are dealing with amounts of substances in the lab, uh, we refer to things being a centimetres cubed. Now, a centimetre cubed is the same measure as a millilitre, and hopefully you should be aware that there are a thousand millilitres in a litre, so therefore there are a thousand centimetres cubed in one decimetre cubed. Okay, and I'm just going to rub that off there because that looks slightly misleading. Uh, but you need to know that relationship. Okay, this one here. I've just pressed the wrong button. How embarrassing. Okay, I'll put it back up again. Okay, but you need to know this relationship here and how to convert things from centimetres cubed into decimetres cubed and how to convert things from decimetres cubed into centimetres cubed. Okay, so 1.46 grams of sodium chloride is dissolved in 25 centimetre cubed of water. Calculate the concentration of the solution in moles per decimetre cubed and in grams per decimetre cubed. So this means how many moles are there of the substance in a decimetre cubed? So in other words, how many moles would there be if we had a thousand centimetre cubed of the substance? And to help us with these calculations, we will use a moles triangle. Okay, and in this moles triangle, we're going to have moles at the top, we're going to have concentration down here, and we're also going to have volume. And really, we should also mention the units at this point. The concentration down here is moles per decimeter cubed, and therefore, if we're using decimeters cubed over here, we should also use decimeters cubed over there. So, if we are working out this calculation, uh, we need, if we're going to be working out moles per decimeter cubed, we need the substance which we've got in moles. And you hopefully should remember the other triangle which we used uh, before with more simple moles calculations, that moles is mass over RFM. So, really, the first thing you should do when you go into an exam is write those on the front of the exam paper. Um, so you've always got those there, so there's no chance of you forgetting them when you go through the exam. So, let's convert 1.46 grams into moles. So moles of NaCl equals mass over RFM. So your mass in this case is 1.46 and as it's of NaCl you need to work out the RFM of sodium chloride. 
So get your periodic table out and find the relative atomic mass of sodium, which is over on the left-hand side of the periodic table. That's 23. And chlorine is 35.5. So here we've got 1.46 divided by 58.5. And if I do that very quickly on a calculator, which I'm hoping that you're going to follow this uh, calculation through with me, that comes out as 0 0.0250 if I'm using uh, three significant figures. So we've got the moles of NaCl. We now need to work out the concentration. And this is where I would use my triangle over here. So if you're looking at concentration, we can say that concentration is moles divided by volume. So the concentration of the sodium chloride solution is moles, which we've been given up here, 0 0.0250, divided by volume. So your volume of liquid you've used is 25 centimetre cubed of water. Now, it says here that we shouldn't be using centimetres cubed we should be using dm cubed. So we need to convert our centimetres cubed into dm cubed. We've got 25, and in order to go between centimetres cubed and dm cubed, we divide by 1,000. So it's a bit like converting millilitres into litres. Oh, sorry. So you just perform that. It comes out as one mole per decimeter cubed. And that's the answer if you wanted the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. The question has also asked you for the answer in grams per decimeter cubed. Now that one is actually slightly more simple to do than that. And I'm actually going to rub this writing off here so I can show it to you. So if I just rub this away now, if you've not copied that down, you might want to rewind the video. Okay, and let's work it out in grams per decimeter cubed. So we've said that we've got 1.46 grams in 25 centimeters cubed. And all I would like you to think about here are proportions. We've got to work out that if we had the same solution and we had a thousand centimetres cubed of it, in other words, we had one decimetre cubed, how many grams would be in that, assuming it's the same concentration? So, how many would be in 250 centimetres cubed? Well, in order to do that, you can see that we'd have 10 times the amount of solution. So therefore, we need 10 times the amount of solute dissolving in there, assuming it's at the same concentration. So that's how many we'd dissolve in 250, but how many we'd put in 1,000? Well, that, the relationship between 250 and 1,000, well, it's four times. We need to have four times the amount of this solvent, if you like, solution make it up to a thousand. So 14.6 times by four, okay, six times four, 24, four fours are 16, plus two, eight, so you'd have 28.4, no that's not right, how embarrassing, slight mental arithmetic mistake there, uh, four times one, one uh, plus the other one which was down there, so that's 58.4 grams. A little bit embarrassed by my mental arithmetic. So, let's have a go at doing these with actual full-on moles calculations, which is where the exam questions are usually based. They're not usually based on this. So, let's move forward. Typical exam question. Calculate the concentration of a solution of sodium hydroxide, or calcium hydroxide. 25 centimetre cubed of this was neutralised by 12.8 gram centimetre cubed of 0.1 mole per decimetre cubed HCl. And what I'm going to draw over here, okay, 
is unsurprisingly my moles triangle. Moles equals volume times concentration or it could be the other way around it doesn't really matter so volume is decimeter cubed concentration is moles per dm cubed. Right so as before okay when we've been doing moles calculations very important to organize your data 25 centimeter cubed of this reacts with 12.8 centimeter cubed of HCl and 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed of HCl. So we have to make a decision. The first thing we do in our in any moles calculation really is to calculate the moles of one of the substances. So really we either have to calculate the concentration of calcium hydroxide or we calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. And the answer to this question is calculate the concentration of HCl. In order to calculate the moles of a solution, you need both the volume and the concentration. And here we have the volume and the concentration. So moles of HCl okay, is volume times conch, 12.8 times 0 0.1. Now hopefully you're remembering from the example I've just done that we need to convert centimetres cubed into dm cubed. So we divide that by 1,000, and that comes out as 0 0.00128. That's the first of the three parts of our calculation. Now we know the moles of HCl, we then need to work out the moles of calcium hydroxide. And hopefully you should see from the practice you've done before, the mole ratios here. This number here, two HCLs will react with one calcium hydroxide. The one wasn't written, but it's implied. So if I had two moles of HCL, that would react with one calcium hydroxide. However, we haven't got two moles of HCL, we've got this. So it's a two to one ratio. So the moles of calcium hydroxide are the moles of HCl divided by 2, which gives 0 0.0064. OK. And at that point, you're thinking, actually, we might, we're nearly there. Because now we have the moles of calcium hydroxide. We also have the volume of calcium hydroxide. So as we have the moles and we have the volume, we can now work out the concentration. So the concentration of calcium hydroxide is moles divided by volume, so that's 0 0.0064, divided by the volume, which is 25. Hopefully, you're picking up on the fact that this volume is centimetres cubed, and I've said the volume here has to be dm cubed. So what you must also make sure you do is do your conversion, 25 over 1,000, like so. And if you work that out in your calculator, which I'm going to do now, it should come to 0 0.0256. And it's important we give our units. The concentration is in moles per decimeter cubed. And that's your answer. You can see that the calculation is in three parts. First part, work out the moles. Second part, do a mole ratio. And the third part, do whatever the question has asked you for. And all the calculations, though they might follow slight different twists, will follow the same pattern. So there might be some twists in there, but they'll have the same pattern, the three-parter. So, next question. Slightly different question here. Again, I'm going to put my triangle up here on the board, moles, volume, concentration, okay, volume, dm cubed, mo concentration, moles per dm cubed. So let's arrange our data. We've got one mole per decimeter cubed of sulfuric acid, and this time we've got 25 centimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide, 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed, 
concentration. And you might be thinking now, well actually I'm confident enough to just have a go at this myself. Hopefully you are. If you are, hopefully you've spotted that the first thing you need to do is work out the moles of sodium hydroxide. You've got the volume, you've got the concentration, so moles is volume times concentration, so moles NaOH equals volume 25 times by 0.5. Ah, but we've got to convert our centimeters cubed into dm cubed, so be careful, divide by a thousand, okay, and that gives 0.0125, and that's the moles of sodium hydroxide. First step done. Second step, mole ratio. If I had two moles of sodium hydroxide, I would only have one mole of sulfuric acid. So coincidentally, the mole ratio is actually the same as the question before. It's a two to one ratio. So your moles of sulfuric acid, okay, is 0.0125 over two which is 0.00625. And that's the second step, done. Nice and straightforward. Now you've got your moles. In the question, you were given the concentration, so you can work out the volume of H2SO4, which is moles 0.00625, divided by concentration, which is one, and even I can do that in my head, which gives that. Now that seems a very small volume, but actually that volume is in dm cubed, which is the units we've been using. You might be asked for the units in centimetres cubed. Now before, when we've gone, or when we've converted from centimetres cubed to dm cubed, you've divided by a thousand. This time, you're going the other way. You're going from dm cubed to cm cubed, instead of dividing by a thousand, you times by a thousand. So one, two, three, it comes to 6.25 centimeters cubed. And at that point, I'm going to pause because I think that's long enough.